after you cut it, flip it over and take a look. I've been doing a lot of teardown, so I notice a lot of things, but this flipping this over, here's that high internal pressure relief right there. But when I looked at this, I see a lot of heat right here, a lot of heat. And then I see this ring. And if you tear down enough scrolls, you, this ring will be here, but not that color. And then this is the floating seal. This is where everything happens, like I talk about. This floating seal has pressure coming from underneath it to balance this out. It pushes this up against the muffler plate because this is the muffler plate. So it can push down the fixed scroll or stationary scroll so they can engage the flanks. But even looking at this right now, it has a funny color to it. So what you want to do is pull off the floating seal. Two screwdrivers usually work too and look under. I see a pile of heat here. And then this is anti-rotation device for shutdown. But see, this is the internal pressure that pushes up on this, which pushes this against the muffler plate to balance out this. But we see a ton of heat on there. Some scrolls have three bolts, some have four bolts. So your next step is to pull this off. As you can see, all that color in there. It looks like copper, doesn't it? And then on these spacers, look at all that. What causes copper to be in a compressor? It's called copper plating this. Let's take a look here. More, major copper plating. This failure is due to improper installation. As you can see, a ton of copper in there. Don't see too much. There's a little bit of scroll galling, but not, nothing too serious. A little bit of scroll galling down here. Nothing too serious. Bearing looks great besides all this copper plating on it. So contamination causes this failure, as you can see in here. And look how easy that spins. You should always check that to make sure she's, it spins really well. And if you get a compressor like this, all of a sudden the windings are good. Check it with a high pot test. And, and I, I checked it and it fails a high pot test. So sometimes, even though the windings on your meter reads correctly, your windings can still be broke down and failed. Instantly trips it off. So this compressor failed from contamination.